All right. Hey, y'all. Today I got something good. We're going to get Joe Biden and, and, and old McCarthy up in here and fix this uh, debt problem. Why, thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. All right, Joe, let's start with you. Why the hell did you even sign the budget if you knew the damn budget last year was going to break the debt ceiling? Wasn't that physically irresponsible, you and the House and Senate Democrats? Well, you see, what we did with the money was we built back better, we had the infrastructure plan, we had all the COVID spending, and we had to support the war with Ukraine. So the matter of spending wasn't the problem. The problem's the limit. No, Joe, it is not the fact of the money used. The American people today know where their hard-earned monies and their dollars are going, and they have a budget. Why don't we, Joe? Well, the spending's consistent with what we had with Donald Trump, and, you know, y'all raised it with Donald Trump. I just don't understand why you don't treat me more like Donald Trump. <laughs> I'm always in your head, Joe. Always in your head. Oh, oh my God. What, what's going on here? I'm always in your head, Joe. It is time that the Republican Party stands up for the American people and delivers a fiscally sound government. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Come on. Now listen, Joe. The American people were ready to shut this government down. If we have to shut it down, we'll shut it all down. It's all going down. <coughs> Kamala, that's what she said. <coughs> all right, y'all, this is just fucking pointless. These people are fucking evidently morons. You got one guy who, damn, I just, I don't even know what the hell. And the other guy is just like, shill. It's obvious none of these assholes really give a shit because it's not their money, it's your money. And they're just going to keep spending it and keep saying, oh, we can just spend more and more. Just wait till these banks fail. Wait till everything goes down. Burn it down.